Excuse the mask. Here's the situation. I was planning on doing reading and ranking all of Otessa Moshfag's books. I was in the process, but... I wasn't feeling it. I just couldn't. I read McGlue. I read half of Homesick, whatever, the short story collection. And I think what I realized is that her writing is so strong. And I have read them, most of her work in the last like three to four years. So it was all really like visually, I kind of remembered a lot of it. So it just wasn't hitting the same. But I think McGlue was a worthy reread. I'm glad I reread that one, but it was really hard for me to get through the short stories. Now, fast forward a little bit. It is June 11th, 10 days before the new new is dropping. And I went to Barnes and Noble because, you know, I was in the midst of summertime sadness. I like walked in and I had a little, you know, moment. I was cashing the vibes and the vibes weren't right. And I was like, I should go home. But then I was like, no, go check out the new releases. And I was there and I was like focused in on this direction. Visually, everything was in front of me. Then I was like, and what did I see? Yes. Wow. Shocking. I know. There was this one and another copy. I mean, tr truthfully... I don't think my copy is like the cleanest. <laughs> There's like a fold in the paper there that I don't like. There's some weird marks there, but whatever. It doesn't matter, who cares, right? Get over yourself. It is signed. Let me show you. Hold on, I missed it. <laughs> it is signed. It's crazy to me, I almost, had I not turned and looked I would have missed it completely completely I would have walked out of there but no I found this rereading of the old books is now moot that's not happening we're diving into this one ASAP It's the next day and I thought I would give an update. I have read, there's 304 pages in this book. I'm on 218. So I have less than 100 pages to go. What are the thoughts? What are the vibes? Going into it, I didn't read a lot of reviews or like, you know, all those lucky people who got the arcs and that kind of stuff. Like I didn't watch their videos. I, I watched a little bit of Jalen's video. I'm going to go back to it once I finish it, but I didn't want spoilers. I didn't want to go into this knowing a lot. All I knew, historical setting, 13 year old boy giving motherless <laughs> and I knew it was going to be violent. So knowing that I was prepared for the violence. Yes, there's a lot of it. Otessa is giving blood meridian. I said it. That's the vibes I am getting. In blood meridian, we have our protagonist narrator kid who is kind of a vacuum almost as like he kind of has no personality he's really bland and like is just recounting all these things that are happening well because he's not really the narrator right there's like an omniscient narrator and blood meridian is very biblical and there's a lot of violence it's intense like you turn the page and you're just like shocked but there's a beauty to the language this is giving the same vibes in regards to the violence but there is a deeper exploration of faith and all of the characters are fucked. But we knew that going into it, right? Like no one's really likable. They're all kind of a caricature and very self-obsessed. Each person is so rooted in their own misery or point of view. And it's interesting to see how that kind of colors what's happening because in this village, in this fiefdom, there's like a big charade that our evil guy, William, has constructed and the priest is in on it, the priest is a clown, like everyone's a clown. So things, things are happening, things are moving, is very plot heavy. But not in a, we kind of zip through these things so fast. Also, I am reading it very fast, like I am eating it up. For whatever reason, I'm really noticing each time she has like a one word sentence 
there's quite a few of them it feels and I kind of each time I come across it I stop and I read the paragraph pulling that sentence out and I feel like it would have been much most of the time it would have been a lot stronger without that one word sentence but yeah we got 100 pages left less than so we're gonna bang that out okay and we're back I finished I ate lunch I am still percolating on the thoughts I really liked it. I think it's like wild to say this, but it was a lot of fun to read. Yeah, definitely violent, grotesque, extreme, but you know that's what you get when you're going to read an Natasha Moshbeck book. Like, don't come expecting rainbows and butterflies. Like, it's dark. There's a lot of humor and how she explores faith and corruption through the lens of this one town where basically every single person's kind of a shit character. It's so good. We, I, I'm gonna do a separate review. Stay tuned for the review, coming soon. God willing, tomorrow.